Hey guys, uh, it's about seven o'clock here in Baltimore and today I'm gonna replace the puppet valve on my boat. I have never done that before, but a lot of engines uh, that fail um, is because of puppet valve. Puppet valve uh, plays a very important role in Mercury engine. Uh, what it do, uh, it opens up the water flow to the engine after 1500 RPM. Um, it is a little bit complicated, but not as complicated as it seems. Is behind all the wirings and everything on the Mercury engine. The engine that I'm working with, and you guys know I have a Mercury outboard, year 2002. And uh, I did replace the uh, thermostat and the impeller on my boat. And I have never replaced the puppet wall on this engine. And I almost have this boat for, for, you, for a few years. And now I think it's time for me to replace the puppet wall. And um, like I said, puppet wall is uh, essential for the cooling of your system. It triggers after 1500 RPM and it triggers the flow of the water to the engine and it regulates that. So we're gonna get into the weeds of uh, how to open up and how to install a puppet wall. So let's do it together. Safety first, first or what you wanna do first is to disconnect the battery connection to the engine because we will be working with lots of wires over here and I'm gonna show you uh, what we're gonna open to get to the puppet valve. So your puppet valve is behind this whole thing, is right there at the bottom. And then you gotta remove the solenoid and these uh, uh, two of these from here. So then you have better access to it. And uh, once you have that access, it is easier to work with it. So we have number 13. Now we're going to open up these right here to remove them out of the way and since I'm working on the water I got to be careful. So there's another bolt right there at the bottom if you see we can open up that and right behind there that's your puppet wall we're gonna open up four screws and it should come out and it's right behind there see that that's what it is So let me open up that. Okay, just to show you to open up that screw up all the way at the bottom over there, you need this flexible uh, part for the socket for it to go in nicely. So you need this, okay? So make sure you have this. And the size is number 13. 
So it's very important to have the extension and this flexible suck thing for you to open up the port wall. Once all the bolts are out, this is what it is. We can disconnect from here, then we work on it. So it's two part, you open it, and right there's the diaphragm that we want to change. You inspect the holes, everything is good, and this is what we're going to replace. Make sure you clean these gaskets with a sharp blade, and we're going to process it now. So I don't want to mess my board. So if you want to look at the puppet wall, how it is, there's a plate, a screw, the diaphragm, the spring, the plastic washer, and this thing. So now we can open this up. So once we open, this is your stainless steel plate the diaphragm and the washer and why it accumulated this dirt I have no clue but you see that so we're gonna work on this clean it up and put it this thing back so these are the new parts I got it off Amazon I'm gonna put the link for it um, I work with Amazon Amazon affiliate program so if you click on the link you buy anything they give me a small commission and that's how this channel keeps on running. So thank you so much for all your purchases and everything that you do off the Amazon. Appreciate you guys. So these are the gaskets. The gaskets come later on, but this is the part that we need to assemble. So this is this, we're going to put all this thing together. There are these rubber and plastic washers you can replace in there, but I checked mine, they're good, so I'm not going to go over that. I just installed the new gaskets and uh, put everything back together the way you look at it. And uh, I'm going to just install just the way it is. I replaced the diaphragm, the spring and everything and the rest goes in just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this. Now we got, got everything back together. We're gonna put the things the way they were. Install this right here, the way it goes. This is in, everything looked good. Now we can start the engine, check for any leaks. 